Kobe Bryant among nine kills in helicopter crash, coffee makes history at the Grammys. These are your top trending stories on Buzz. NBA icon Kobe Bryant died last Sunday in a helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. The crash claimed the lives of Bryant, his daughter, 13-year-old Gianna, along with seven other passengers. The helicopter carrying the 41-year-old and his guests had been given special permission to fly despite poor weather conditions. They were headed to the Mamba Sports Academy for a basketball event. Reggae Star Coffee is officially the youngest ever solo act and first woman to win the Best Reggae Album category. The 19-year-old copped the award in LA at the 62nd staging of the Grammy Awards. While Coffee made Grammy history, influencer Yandy Phillips was also at the award show. She shared images of her in a stunning yellow dress with the hashtag, hashtag Grammys 2020, hashtag that is all, hashtag brand Jamaica. Jamaican football star Leon Bailey is the newest ambassador for online fashion retailer Bohuman.com. The 22-year-old winger said it was an honor to be an ambassador and was enthused about the product and creativity of the brand. The brother of rapper Nicki Minaj was sentenced to 25 years in prison for sexually assaulting his stepdaughter. Jelani Maraj was married to the victim's mother when the abuse began at her home in New York. It continued over a period of eight months. The girl's brother witnessed Mirage assaulting his sister, who was 11 at the time, and later notified school officials. Bounty Killer has opened up about his past domestic abuse allegations, which still affect his present. The dancehall DJ spoke at a forum for violence at Red Stripe offices on Wednesday. He expressed that he would receive backlash for trying to make a change or to be a better version of himself. Also, his kids were mocked, which wasn't a good impact on them. Montekiller is now using his story to encourage other men who are perpetrators of domestic violence to stop. Gospel artist Jermaine Edwards shifts his focus on creating genreless music for persons who are not ready to transition into Christianity. He wanted to do something else as he thinks there's an avenue for more gospel artists to be more relevant in other aspects of people's lives. Crystal Thomason says she is not fazed by the negative comments and judgment on her relationship with Beanie Man. The PNP's youth organization president shared a one-year-old daughter named Zaya with the artist. She said the negative reaction often comes from the other side of the political line. It's just a tactic by the political opponent to try and dim the light. In other news, the World Health Organization has declared the coronavirus a global health emergency as the disease spreads throughout the world. The WHO Director General noted this declaration is not of no confidence in China and their capacity to control the outbreak, but what is happening in other countries with weaker health systems. 98 cases across 18 countries have been confirmed outside of China. Meanwhile, Jamaica has restricted travel between the island and China due to the outbreak. On Tuesday, January 28, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake struck the Caribbean Sea between Jamaica and Cuba, with tremors felt as far as Miami. A tsunami warning was issued highlighting that there was a threat of waves reaching about 1 to 3 feet for the coast of Jamaica, Cuba, Honduras, Mexico and the Cayman Islands. And that's it for your top trending stories. Remember to click and subscribe to our website at buzz-caribbean.com or download our app for all your latest updates. And if you like my fit, you can check out iDoll's online clothing boutique and get all dolled up. I'm Marie, buzz out.